So here I have a package from Amazon, and it is a Rubik's Cube, but I'm not going to say which one. I think what I'm going to do is, down there in the title, this will be a surprise unboxing. For no apparent reason, it just seems like a cool thing to do. And you won't find out until I open it, so wah ha um, Okay, so I have already cut it open, but I haven't looked at the cube yet, so I don't know for sure what's... Well, I know what's inside, but maybe it's possible that <laughs> maybe they shipped something else. So let's see, so open it and see. So inside, the first thing I see is a lot of this bubble wrap stuff. This is gonna be fun to pop. I'm gonna it now. Yay! Ah, ah okay. But... <laughs> this stuff is always fun though. I love that. And inside, we see a cube. We see a cube, and looks like it's what I ordered. And it is the Shangshao six by six. So I am very excited for this cube. I'm going to move the box right now, and we're going to get inside this. So I'm very excited. My first 6x6 ever. Okay, so I see it already. I see the instructions. These are the same instructions that came with the 4x4. Let's see. Do the instructions even have 6x6 on it? Hmm. These are instructions for the 4x4 and 5x5. Good thing that I usually never look at the instructions. Um, yeah, that's kind of disappointing that they send 4x4 and 5x5 instructions with the 6x6. But, okay, so now let's open it up. Okay, so there's a little cardboard on it right there. And it's very luby, as I, as every Shang Shao cube is. If you've seen my Shang Shao 5x5 unboxing, it's the same thing with that. It's always really luby. But, okay, so first turns. I'm very excited for this. Okay, so first turns, so far it's not that fast. It's not nearly as smooth as the 5x5. Five five. I'm going to go get the 5x5 five five so you can see. So I just got the 5x5, five five, which I put in a really cool pattern, and the 4x4, four four, which currently isn't scrambled, just for size comparison, too. But, um, yeah, so that's enough, pretty much, about the size, just to see how it compares to other cubes. So... Yeah, so pretty much the 5x5, five five, this is very smooth. It turns very well. The 6x6, six six, it does feel, I've heard people say it's kind of gummy, um, like a little bit too much lube was put in it. It's pretty good, though. I'll see if I, I'll do the checker pattern, or some pattern. Um, I guess I'll do it, like, on a 3x3. Three three. But, yeah, so there's the checker pattern on it, um, as if it, using it like a 3x3. Three three. And, yeah, so it's pretty cool. It does work pretty well. Um, I would like to lube it, except I know the inside is very complicated, and I don't know if I trust myself to do that. Um, maybe I will, if possible. I don't know. But, yeah, so it's pretty good. The slice moves aren't that good. It is better than, like, a Rubik's 5x5 five five and, like, a Rubik's 4x4, four four, but it's still, it's not that impressive compared to the Shang Shao 5x5. Five five. Um, but I was kind of expecting this. I've heard that, um, the Shang Shao 6x6 I've heard people say it's the best 6x6 on the market, however, it's one of Shang Shao's worst cubes, and so far I think I can agree with that, because it is a very good cube, um, well, it's a good cube, it's adequate, I guess, um, it could be, um, maybe modified or, um, or lubed, but it's pretty good, um, you should, uh, look out for the review, that's gonna be coming soon, because really right now is not a good time to review it, I just got it, I haven't even learned how to solve it yet, so I'm gonna give it a couple solves maybe, and then... Um, in a couple days I'll do a review. So yeah, thanks for watching.